Hi, everybody. Oh, I so wish that we were not on Zoom. <laughs> um, I wrote a speech. I don't want to read it. I just want to talk to you. I don't know. I'm going to do a little of both. Uh, I want to say thank you for welcoming me into this community. It's really been an honor to lead alongside you. Um, you know, we, it's a historic organization that we steward together. And I, I don't see that as a small thing. It's a big responsibility to hold and to shepherd together this organization that's been around for 120 years. And I, I see it as our collective responsibility that ensure that it's around for another 120 years. And it's been um, a real honor to be able to serve for this chapter, these seven years. Many of you have served for many, many chapters before my chapter, and hopefully all of you will serve for, for many more chapters after. Um, and I just, I wanna thank you for, for trusting me and for partnering with me, for experimenting with me for this chapter. We've done some important work together and we've grown and we've stretched and it hasn't always felt good. And that's when you know that you're really doing the good work. That's what I believe, at least, when it doesn't feel good. Um, because that's when, that's when we stretch and that's when we grow. And I've seen that happen across generations. And I think we're stronger because you all have invested so many hours of your time to build really solid, trusting relationships with each other across generations doesn't happen in a lot of movement spaces or Jewish community spaces. And we really made an intentional decision, right? We're not, we were not passing this organization from one generation to the next, but we're really intentionally partnering. And we've done incredible work and that work is not done. Um, so I, I leave you with, uh, I'm in that, in that realm with the imperative to keep doing the really hard work of deep, deep listening to each other. You know, the kind of listening where you're not thinking about what you wanna say next, but you're actually bringing like real authentic curiosity for what the other person has to say. Keep doing that. And I think we're stronger because we've taken a hard look at ourselves as a majority white Jewish organization with Ashkenazi roots and realize that we had some work to do, we have some work to do to show up better for racial justice, to show up better for our members of color, for our Sephardi and Mizrahi members, and to transition from a progressive organization to an actively anti-racist organization. And we're still in that transition. I invite each of you to get clear on what your role is in that work, because um, you all have one. We can't, we can't do it without all of us doing it together. And I think we're stronger because we've taken bold stances against redlining in the Jewish community. I think we're stronger because we are a community that welcomes anti-Zionists and Zionists and refuses to draw lines about who can become a member. And I think we're stronger because we're modeling that to the broader Jewish community and we have a long way to go. And uh, Libby's already spoken about the work that's happening later this month, presenting to the board after the deep, deep intergenerational work that's been happening. Um, and from there, that crew will look to all of you to reactivate our community around Israel-Palestine and to take action together. And I encourage you to be bold in our next chapter, to act from your values and to see yourselves as laying the groundwork for the future of the Jewish community, because that's what I believe that we're doing. A couple more things I want to say. One is that like a real privilege that I get to hold from where I sit is seeing how we fit in this broader constellation of the Jewish community across the country. And seeing how the work that we're doing to dismantle racism and anti-Semitism and white supremacy is part of this national movement that is really moving the Jewish social justice community forward in a whole new chapter. And when we show up all over the Jewish media because we've taken some controversial stance around Israel-Palestine, I get to feel the support of our allies across the country in Jewish social justice orgs that, are, that have our backs 
and that are looking to us and that believe that the future of the Jewish community rests in communities like ours that are not afraid to take a stand. So I just, in closing, I just wanna thank you for doing the hard work of stewarding this organization. Thank you for loving your people and showing up for each other again and again and again. Thank you for teaching me to love my people. Thank you for taking the time to build meaningful relationships and to move at the speed of trust. Thank you for the many ways that you support each other and for the many ways that you have supported me.